today we're talking about dots. This week on Thursday the 17th is International Dot Day in honor of Peter Reynolds' book, The Dot. So we are making to some positive space dots today and negative space dots. So I'm gonna show you how to separate your paper into two parts. We're gonna fill it with all kinds of line designs and patterns. So you're gonna end up having a very colorful dot day project when you're done. To get started, you need a piece of paper and then maybe try to find a nice kind of big lid you have around your house. And then I hope you have some crayons if you have markers or watercolor paint. You can also use those for this project as well. Today, I'm gonna start by taking my paper and folding it in half. So I'm gonna take one side and I'm going to try to match it with the other side so it kind of looks like a book. And then I'm gonna smoosh it down. You might wanna have someone help you with this. Maybe you can do it by yourself. But once you have that, you're gonna open it up. And now we have two parts of our paper. I'm going to take my circle and I'm gonna make one circle on each side. You can choose any color crayon you want. I'm gonna choose like a dark blue so you can see it really well. I'm gonna hold my circle really still right in the middle of this side. And I'm gonna go all the way around as best I can. It's okay if it's not perfect or it wiggles, no big deal. And then, doo -doo, I have a circle. And I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go all the way around, trying to hold it as still as I can. Now I have two circles. I'm also, with this crayon, I'm gonna draw a line down the middle where that crease is so I know where to stop when I'm drawing in just a second. So I have two circles and a line down the middle. I'm going to make one of these circles a positive space, a circle. So I'm going to fill in the circle. The other circle I'm going to leave empty. It's going to be a negative space circle. I'm going to make the dot design by only decorating around it. So let's start with our positive space circle first. You're going to choose any color you want to, and you are gonna fill in this circle with line designs. We know lots of fun lines, so maybe I'll start with a color, and I'm gonna make maybe just some straight, straight, straight lines, just a few. And then maybe I'll switch to a different color. And then maybe I want some zigzags. I'm staying in the circle. I'm not gonna go outside of the circle. Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag. I had to make quite a few zigzags. They're really fun to make. Maybe just halfway across my circle. I'm gonna switch colors. Ooh, I really like curly cues. Maybe over here, I'll add some curly, curly, curly cues. I'll keep on adding some curly cues. Maybe one more right here. Ooh, I like that. Maybe I need some squiggly wigglies. So maybe I'll squiggle only wiggly all the way to the edge. That's pretty fun. Ooh, maybe I want some polka dots. So maybe over here I'm gonna make polka dot, polka dot, polka dot. All the way. Maybe I do a few more. I'm trying to switch colors every time I switch line designs to make it fun and colorful. I think I'm gonna do some dash lines now. Dash, 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 dash. I have some space over here. I'm gonna fill it in. Maybe I have space for one more thing. It is up to you. Maybe over here, I wanna fill this in with little heart shapes. I'm making heart lines, lines or stripes. Oh, hearts. You can do whatever kind of shapes or lines you want to, but fill up this whole entire circle. Now that I finished this circle, this is my positive space circle, I'm going to go to the other side of my paper, and I am not going to put anything inside of this circle. I am only going to draw around the outside of the circle. So just like before, I'm going to pick line designs and shapes, but going out from the circle to the edge 
or to that line. If I get to this line, I'm gonna stop because that doesn't want to, we don't want to go into this picture. Where it's like we have two different pictures side by side. So maybe I'll start with some straight lines. That's fun. Maybe I'll switch to a new color over here. Maybe I want to make some squiggly wiggles. You choose your favorite line designs. Maybe, ooh, I'll switch to a green. And maybe I'll do some dashes. Now a lot of mine are matching this, but it's, you don't have to. They just kind of happen on accident. And maybe I want some blue polka dots. Maybe I'll make a pattern. I'll do little polka dot, big polka dot, little polka dot, big polka dot. I'm gonna make a couple of those lines. So I really fill up the space. So it's really colorful. So I'll do one more. And then maybe over here, I'll add some curly cues again. Yeah, I'll do two lines of curly cues. That's super fun. Maybe I'll do some zigzags, some green. If you run out of ideas, you can always redo a line a second time. So maybe right here, I'll do some more straight lines. Just a few, it's okay, I just switched colors. So, so it's still colorful and fun. Maybe over here, I wanna do some hearts. I'll make them kind of touching, maybe some more, since there's some space down here. Keep on going and you fill up your paper with your favorite things. going around this whole entire circle with line designs. I stopped at the middle line, so it's only on this side of the page. So now I have a positive space circle or dot all filled in, and then the negative space dot. I decorated the dot by decorating around it and set it inside of it. I left the inside white. Now you can leave it just like this if you want to. If you have a little watercolor paints, you can add some paint inside over the, over the lines. Maybe you have markers at your house. If you have markers, you can do the same thing. Maybe you want to add even more color. You can go over the crayon with some marker. It is up to you. Just remember to leave your dot, the white space is white, to really show off your fantastic dots. some extra marker on top of my crayon in similar colors and pretty much the same designs to my picture so it's now it's even more colorful and even more full this is only if you have the marker don't worry if you don't it's kind of an extra little pizzazz to your picture i hope you had fun making your positive space polka dot and your negative space dot
thanks so much for making dots with me today. I hope you had fun. Hope yours are super colorful. It's kind of bright. There we go. You filled it all up. Maybe you drew, maybe you painted, whatever you had. I hope you made lots of fun dots.